We are recording. Hey, it's Alex from Recording Magazine, and I'm here at Coop Studios in Boulder, Colorado, to bring you this review of the Audix A133 microphone. We also reviewed it in the April 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. Headquartered in Oregon, Audix has been manufacturing microphones since 1984. The A133 was announced during the 2020 NAMM show, along with 14 other products, including the A131 large diaphragm condenser. The A133 has a fixed cardioid design. The only difference between this and its A131 sibling is the minus 10 dB pad and the base roll-off switch on the body of the A133. Its capsule is 33 millimeters in diameter and features a gold sputtered 3.4 micron thick diaphragm. The aluminum body is machined at the Audix facility in Oregon and features an internal shock mount to isolate the capsule from stuff like mechanical vibrations and handling noise. This eliminates the need for a dedicated shock mount. It has a steel mesh grill that's paired with a layer of ultra thin acoustic foam helping to protect the diaphragm from plosives. The A133 has a frequency response that reaches down to 40 Hz and extends to 20 kHz. The rest of its specs are in line with what you would expect, with an impressive 150 dB of SPL handling when the pad is engaged. It also has a signal to noise ratio of 84 dB and the base roll off switch is located at 150 Hz. The A133 ships with a mic clip and a hard nylon shell carrying case for storage. It's relatively compact, but it feels quite sturdy and rugged in the hands. Its size and weight, along with its ability to be used without a shock mount, make it easy to place without much fuss. The included mic clip is very snug and secure. It takes quite a bit of effort to get it on and off, which I consider to be a plus. The A133 is very balanced. The low end is transparent without being too boomy or bulky. The mid range is flat and true to source, while the top end leans slightly to the warmer side of the spectrum. There's a slight bump from 300 to 400 hertz that I think presents itself on some sources, but overall it's pretty subtle. Its accurate and uncolored response makes it an excellent choice for any number of percussive sources, guitars, and voice. All right, I'm going to engage the high pass filter now so you can hear that. I do wish it was slightly lower in the spectrum. 150 hertz is a bit high for most sources. The off-axis rejection does a nice job in reducing unwanted noises or reflections in the environment. I know I'm in a treated studio right now, but I did test for this at home and I thought it performed well. As you've already heard throughout this video, the A133 feels right at home for vocals and voiceover work. We actually came into the booth for this segment so you can hear what it sounds like in a bit of a tighter space. There's a touch of airiness around 12 kHz that adds a bit of clarity, and I also found it to be well protected from plosives. I tested the A133 on a variety of instruments as well, including acoustic guitar, electric guitar paired with an Audix i5, and drums. I put together a tune with my good friend Chris Wright playing drums to highlight each of these sources with the Audix A133. Let's go ahead and check that out now, then we'll circle back and solo each of the individual instruments.
All right, now let's isolate each layer recorded with the A133, starting with acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar is my favorite source for the A133. While it feels a touch too polite for electric guitars on its own, that politeness feels right at home for the acoustic. It sounds rich and smooth with a clean lower mid-range. It's a solid performer on guitar amps as well. For clean tones, it captures the amp with plenty of clarity. Sometimes though, I do find it a bit polite on its own, which is why I also paired it with the Audix i5. This combination brings more punch and thickness to the tone. I tried it on a barrage of hand percussion as well, and actually since the time I originally wrote my review, I had the opportunity to use a pair of A133s as overheads. Across the board it sounds full without being too bulky, and the slightly rounded top end is forgiving when it comes to recording cymbals. The Audix A133 is a great all-around performer. I like its smooth top end and transparent character, especially when it comes to recording acoustic guitars and drums. It retails for $499, or you could save $100 and go with the A131 if you don't need the pad or high-pass filter switches on the body. To learn more, go to audixusa.com. You can also check out my written review in the April 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. We update this channel frequently with video reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Also, check out recordingmag.com for the best in all things recording. There you can also listen to our brand new podcast with exclusive interviews, or subscribe to the print publication now in its 35th year. Thanks again to Coop Studios and Chris Wright for helping me make this video, and we'll see you next time.